Hey all, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and today we got a preseason match for you. A scrim on payload uh, upwards is between two UGC Steel teams, Highlander of course. Um, the right we have MMS, which is Midnight Muffin Stuffers, and on the left we have Blue, which is tagged very inappropriately, but their actual name is Hale's Own Team, which is very clever. They should tag up as that because that's a good team name. Anyway, let's go through rosters real quick before we get started. We have Polly on Medic. I'm assuming that's Polly, otherwise that's impronounceable, unpronounceable, um, other backwards. But anyway, we have Unicorn on Heavy Red Star is Scout, Facepalm is Spy, Benayne is Demo, Raph is Soldier, Bask Hannon is Pyro, Etni is Engineer, and Shady is... What is that one with the sniper rifle? He's a sniper, right? There we go. <laughs> That pan on MMS, we have that Pancake as Spy, Bass Cannon, another Bass Cannon, I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, as heavy term is uh, Demo, Sink is Engineer, Rack of Lamb is Soldier, Pwnstar is Sniper, Cadvan is Scout, Sarcasm is Medic, and Heo is Pyro. So let's get this Mission game started. And of course we're on payload, so of course we're going to find the NG Cam. We have Sink, I assume he uh, already put up a teleporter and whatnot, and look at all those suicides, very nice. Um, suiciding over there though, where is he, where is he gonna put this? This is where I put my gun, um, all the time. So I approve of this location, he of course is running the Jag, which, uh, is controversial. So, we will, uh, we won't go into that right now, he actually just got Mission begins in 30 one seconds. ammo, right there. Uh, right there, where are the rest of the suicides? There we go, his sniper suicide is actually pretty far into the, uh, to the setup time right there, he will, will be able to get back, but won't be have, won't have time to charge up his uh, shot, I think. I don't know, we will check on that. Um, term looking for Alex's cat. Not <laughs> sure what's going on there. But let's see what we have going on for Blue in terms of offense. Medic is running a regular wow. uber gun, so that is pretty standard, and we'll watch as they come out the gates. Some stickies. Oh, no, those were stickies, but we're gonna watch Pancake as he. Oh, uber comes out immediately. Interesting right there. There were stickies near the cart, so that's probably why they did it, but soldiers jumping and getting a huge jump, but air blasted back, so not able to do anything with that uh, uber there. And Red, knowing that Blue has already popped, pops theirs and uses it to push them back as far. They really want to get Polly right there in the mech, but no, Polly gets back into spawn. And that is how the first 30 seconds have gone. So, um, really interesting decision to pop immediately from Polly and Hale's own team right there. I'm not sure exactly what they're going for. Maybe the medic uh, saw, was feeling pressured, I'm not exactly sure. We will give Polly the benefit of the doubt right there. Usually you want to save that uh, Uber until you spot the enemy sentry gun. Now let's see where that enemy sentry gun is. It is still up indeed. It is level 3 right now in that corner. Um, see, that's why I love that corner. I love it so much. You wrangle it and then you can have access to like this space over here. I just love it. So Sink knows what he's doing. He's definitely played um, this competitively before. So more power to him. Well, let's watch. Um, Sarcasm is working up that Uber. Uh, of course, they did pop after Blue. So they will be a little later, but Sarkis actually needs to heal somebody because Blue Uber has already popped. They're going in on that gun, will be able to take it out even though it's wrangled. Um, Pyro getting there just a little bit too late to air blast them away. The dispenser goes down as well, and of course, you know, it's the dispenser pick that actually matters. Um, so Red Uber going off, chasing down Polly, so Medic down for Red, uh, for Blue. So Red really needs to keep their Medic alive, and indeed Sarcasm does survive that Uber. Now, here's the question is, what is Sink going to do? Is he going to rebuild? He is still alive. But is he going to rebuild at first? Because they still have a teleporter here at first. And, um, he probably shouldn't. And I don't see him doing that. So, probably a good call. Fall back and, uh, build at second. We'll see where he is after we, uh, watch Pwnstar take down his enemy sniper. Or, nope, he's gonna run away, which is also a legitimate strategy. You see, um, a did he get a shot out there? Oh, not able to get the sniper. Uh, that's of course such a great location for snipers uh, over there on that hill. You get a lot of um, sight on to um, things that are happening on this cliff where um, position where teams usually take higher positioning. Um, so far we are seeing the red team. We are seeing a midnight muffin stuffers. I'm going to call them muffins. Because I like muffins. Um, we've seen the muffins actually take a low ground. Actually now though, the heavy, who is um, at me. 
I thought Etnie was on the other team. I think we had a little uh, uh, snafu in the, skip in the rosters. But anyway, um, Etnie coming in now. A little bit too late to stop the cap, but they will be able to clear off that cart. I'm um, really scared for sarcasm right now because there is a sniper dot on his head, but no, instead Red Star hunts him down with that scatter gun and he goes down. So right now we're looking at Sync, and indeed he is set up at the very typical spot for e this uh, map. So, um, nothing to say there, I, I do it too. It's hard to get creative with that second point. I'm gonna go Pancake getting a nice backstab on the nay 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 nay. Oh, but then he gets blown to his death, can't air strafe out of that, so. Um, but hey, doesn't matter, got the demo. It's a trade to usually take, especially when you have your team pushing forward to uh, uh, to take out a sentry gun. Not having that demo is going to be very important, so they'll have to wait that, that many more seconds for him. And meanwhile, those soldiers up in this little room right here, just getting some spam down. You know what, this is a really interesting uh, dispenser placement. Hi. Would love to hear Sink's rationale on this. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm guessing it's a uh, good positioning for to help out his team right there. But as you can see, it is very easily spam, spam down by Raph just taking that rocket launcher. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh! Really good for Face Palm getting that backstab. Um, however, we have a Pyro action going on, and Ho is able to help out his NG right there. So, nice Pyro action. We'll see if he can air blast this Uber away. He's actually doing a really good job, but oh, Sentry Gun goes down. There's only so much a Pyro can do right there without being able to repair. And let's see, Hale's own team caps the second point. Four minutes and 24 seconds. Pretty good team, but ooh, here comes the Uber again for Red there. Just, even those Ubers, just a little bit too late. Um, to stop the point, but they will be able to clear off it a little bit, actually only getting the engineer right now. They need to get some bigger picks if they want to make the most of this. Sarcasm did survive, so that is always very important. He needs to fall back, though. He's a little too close right now. Comfort. Well, actually, their red is holding a very far forward line. Um, with the sentry placement, you can see they are not going to easily give up this ramp area. Usually I will build farther back and just give that up. But um, Sink and his team are not ready to do that, so we'll see if he can't get something up. He's already wrangling a level 2, which is so great, but oh, look at this Pyro. Is he doing damage right there? But all Sink has to do is call that out to his team, and his Pyro's on it, so Ho, Hyo, H-Y-O, not sure how to pronounce it, but doesn't matter, um, doing some nice work there. Meanwhile, Pwnstar getting two headshots and Pancake taking down, uh, getting a nice backstab in there, so the assassin class is going big for muffins. My favorite muffin? Banana nut. My second favorite nut muffin? Pumpkin. Why aren't cupcakes muffins? Because it's just the easy. Anyway, um, teams should know better than to have food in their names and send me their demos because I'm gonna go on a tangent about the food. Um, little girls are my friends. What? That was not... Okay. So that was one of the names that switched? after the game started. I don't know, I'm very curious about that. Um, but he's just spamming down that sentry gun right now. If he can get the headshot, that'd be huge, but oh, the cart gets in the way right there, so foiled by the cart. Oh, but we'll see that sentry gun is up, and I'm very impressed right now with Sink uh, keeping, uh, having the balls to put that up there. It was uh, up for quite a long time, but now just going down. But hey, it stalled the cart for a good minute or two in a position that usually teams will just roll through. So. I'm going to steal that uh, sentry placement. Um, hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> Sometimes you just fall into your sentry rut, your sentry placement ruts and you don't try anything new, even though the ones you are using just... Oh man, did you see that sticky trap? Term. Uh, don't know if he anticipated that, if there was a lucky shot, but doing a great job right there. Now with bombing, uh, jump, using sticky jumps to get away from the uber, then to set up an uber traps. Can you get the... Nice pipe, nice pipe. Term. Um, Looking great. That's uh oh my goodness. That's uh that's unfortunate. He's taken down by little girls are my friends headshot, but he uh, had a great run right there. And taken down a banana nay nay nay. Oh, base fast cannon, or could be base cannon. Um looking to be sneaky right there, but running into a heavy one didn't want to take that on on his own. He's actually still wanting to do something right here. And we'll keep an eye on him as he goes underneath the point and then up through this sneaky, sneaky little zone. Ooh, lagging a little bit, but we'll deal with it. So he has spotted out the sentry gun. Right now would be a good time to spam that down with... Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> yeah, Gaskin is out of there. There's no way he can take on the entire red team by himself. Uh, now that he had backburn on it, but yeah, red is doing a good job pushing up right now, taking a lot of forward positioning. They almost have Uber, so this could be pretty devastating if they uh, if they take advantage of it. Oh, look at Term just bouncing back there. He just loves those sticky jumps. Just love the, the little sticky jumps. Um, but yeah, Sarcasm has Uber right now. We'll see what he decides to do with it. Could be a she. I really, uh, I don't know. Oh, and there we go. Uber is popped, but Polly has his or hers at the same time, and they're doing a good job of blocking each other out, and absolutely nothing is happening, and that is the way Ubers are. Oh, man. Oh, man. Etni barely able to get um, Banana Nay before he comes after Sarcasm, so um, really nice work there protecting his medic. Um, sarcasm, I was so scared for him, there was like absolutely no way he was going to survive that, but it did happen. So, great defensive hold right now, 7 minutes of 46 seconds for 3 points, um, it's a pretty, it's, it's a little on the long side for 3 points, so now, so now Hale's own team is looking for a, um, a, a, they really need a fast push right here, they really gotta get this done, uh, to, to get any sort of proper time, or a good time, a time that they can work with for the second half of this round. Of course, you know how payload works. Please don't make me explain it because I'm terrible at explaining things. But uh, basically, stopwatch. It's even to make it to the end first wins and best out of best out of five. Oh, and that is a spy right behind you. It nay nay nay, and he does. He actually does realize it, but not in time. And heavy comes in and spoils his day. Look at red coming in from behind right here. Oh, but actually not behind because blue is so far pushed. So he's pushed so far back. So. They're just really uh, working on that angle of just continuing that really aggressive defense. Absolutely crazy. Um, usually you see the aggressive defense. Oh man, Term getting some huge stickies in there. Getting 3k, 4k, and then following up with a pill. Um, Term just doing some work. Um, and now he's got his pan out. Get it? Oh, I really want to see a pan kill, but that's okay. He uh, had a great run right there. I uh, wanted to look at scores. It's actually third. Etni um, and the and the heavy, the heavy and the medic are above him, which makes sense. But in a is, I imagine that's what it's like to um, um, try to find. That's kind of like what I look like when I'm trying to find the light switch in the dark. <laughs> it's uh, exactly what I look like, especially if I do it with a bottle of scotch. Anyway. Watching this setup, the sentry gun is. Where did that? Oh, it's. I just didn't see a very typical placement, but uh, it's typical because it's effective. So, again, just loving what Sink's doing right here. He knows his stuff, he knows how long it takes to build stuff. Um, got his. Level 3 is. or his dispenser is just now working. Oh no, he, was, he just moved it, that's fine. That's fine, I approve of that. Um, but, ooh, <laughs> face pump could have definitely been. Uh, exploded right there, but it did not happen. Is he going to manage to get behind? Oh, goes for the medic stab, but it was a little too early, so gets caught out, and Etni takes him down right there. Not what he wanted to do, but that does allow... Oh, did that, did that force the Uber? But either way, there's an Uber uh, for Red as they're pushing back blue again, and look at our term it is up again. He is uh, just being super aggressive. Can't wait to see what he does in defense. I mean offense, because if he's just offensive on defense, well, you know what I'm saying. We need to keep an eye on Polly though, because the key to a successful blue push right now is gonna be an Uber because that gun is up there. And it looks like uh, a pancakes is or not pancakes, the uh, other spy uh, face palm is going to have a hard time getting to the behind the lines to sap it, if you will. Uh, just a lot of great defense going on right now from muffins. So we'll see what they can't make of this offensive push. Or at about 70%. You gotta watch out for that spy. Pancakes okay, does get down, but he's dead ringing. Um, oh, Polly, are you running on top of a sticky? No, he's not. He just gets out of there. Oh, loses unicorn. Is heavy. Gotta fall back. Finds a, mm, a friendly face, but oh my, the, pyro, uh, the spy was still alive. In fact, is still alive. Somewhere behind the lines. Oh no, not good. Not good. Polly has got 97% Uber. Where is he? There's still a spy around. Oh, and has to pop that Uber. It's a soldier bombing in. 
not what he wanted to do with that maneuver. Really unfortunate. Of course, you, you have to pop it there if you see a soldier and you're in an extremely vulnerable position. He did the right thing, but it's just... It's just not what he wanted to do, and that's disappointing. So that's going to delay their push another minute as they work up that uber again. So, Blue just not having a ton of luck here. Um, getting... Yeah, I, I don't I don't know about this. I'm not sure what Blue could do. What I'm not seeing a lot of... Okay, well, here we go. Is a uh, mini sentry. I wonder if there's a teleporter up if... Uh, we got that going, but actually it looks like Blue is pushing forward and being very aggressive right now. They do not have Uber. Polly is actually pretty close, but oh man, Little Girls and My Friends takes down Sarcasm. Meanwhile, there's a Sapper going down. The Sentry goes down. So there we go. Blue without an Uber does a great soft push. Now they do have that Uber. Where is it popped is the question. It's on the heavy. He's going to be able to clean up. Red is down. Five players right now. This could be it. They just need somebody to push the cart for Blue. Uh, and Blue is getting a lot of cart there. Red is going to get those spawns, but they are not going to be in time. And that is going to be a six. I'm not going to call it yet. Um, but now I'm going to call it. There we go. A nice push. And 13 minutes and 52 seconds. So, very impressive push there at the end. Too bad they couldn't have done that four minutes earlier because 13 minutes and 52 seconds is a little bit long. So they definitely have their work cut out for them as they are now defending. And let's see what kind of defense they get put up. Ah, loving this already. Raph has his disciplinary action out and is whipping the engineer to get him to the front lines better. Love that. Absolutely love the use of, of the, the disciplinary action in Highlander, getting the heavier heavy to mid uh, and 5 CP and stuff like this, but then using it on the engineer and the setup times is great. Very great. Love it. Also want to check out... <laughs> I want to check out the engineers. Uh, let's see, red engineer Gandhi Power. Are the names changing? There must have been something wrong when I initially introduced the teams. But uh, yeah, Gandhi Power. <laughs> I want to check out his swag. As engineer, of course, always interested in what- oh, he's got a nice unusual right there. I have no idea what it is, but it is shiny. And he's also got that uh, wrench from MVM. So, very jealous. Five, four, and, uh, three, ooh, two, let's watch the sniper cam. One. See what Pwnstar can't do. Oh, he gave up. <laughs> I would too if I saw that NG with the, uh, it's like a robot skull on his wrench. It's really pretty intimidating. Spy right outside spawn right there, but Term calls it out. No, he's there and takes him down with some stickies. Meanwhile, Red Uber has gone off. Wonder why. Uh, actually, it looks like Polly took about half damage right there, so probably I missed a bombing medic or uh, bombing demo or soldier or something in on there, so he had to pop again. It's what you gotta do, but it's not what you wanna do. Uh, he's really in the danger zone right now. Loses the heavy. It's just him and his scout. His scout is abandoning him on the roof. No. Oh, Polly didn't stand a chance right there. So Red Medic down. Sarcasm still alive. Still with that Uber. They now have spotted out the sentry gun. Ah, oh, look at Term doing a great job. He was anticipating the soldier would be bombing in on him right there. And I'm actually already learning a lot about Demo Man just from watching this. <laughs> so, um, great application of Demo Man right there. Meanwhile, Uber is uh, deployed right there. The sentry gun is... I think Gandhi Power took it and ran. And uh, he is still alive, so he may be able to set that up at second. But I don't know about that. He's actually down right now. Pancake takes, takes him down. He's really super hurt. So Engineer down. They're not going to have a, a lot of time to set up here at second. Not what they want to do, so Red has to take a really far forward hold if they want to give the engineer time, and they're just right now it's just not happening. Blue has a lot of momentum coming in uh, under the tunnel, and now they're coming over the hill right here. Looking very aggressive, very, very good. Both, both, yeah, both teams still have their medic though, so that could be significant. Polly has 100% uh, Uber and immediately pops it. Oh no, his heavy wants to go under and he wants to go up. Oh, huge lack of communication right there. Not uh, not what they wanted to do again, but uh, you gotta be calling those out in comms. <laughs> Someone says fail in the... I wonder what happened. Pancake said fail. Or Facepalm said fail. Well, his name is Facepalm, so what do you expect except fail? But anyway, now Unicorn and Polly will be guarding the, the cart. Um, again, taking this forward positioning, like I said, they need to in order to give their engineer time to set up. And look at that. It is already set up, so... Gandhi Power is doing his work as engineer, knows his stuff as well as sync. So, love to see that. 
I love to see knowledgeable engineers, people taking the role of engineers seriously and not just be like, well, I'll set up a gun here, it's gonna go down, whatever, I don't care. That annoys me. But anyway, posts are getting a headshot there on Little Girls Are My Friends. Um, meanwhile though, oh man, Unicorn and Polly were taking a ton of damage, fortunately Polly got that Uber just in time. Oh man, they gotta fall back, Polly was way too good right now to uh, be this aggressive. And oh, Scout is on him, can his heavy save? No! But actually, Polly is still alive, running away, dodging kills as he goes! Is he gonna survive? Yes, with about 50 health left, makes it back to the Spencer and his team. So, a nice, uh, flea there. Oh! Oh! Hayo gets a nice reef, like, taking down banana -na -na -na. And, uh, so that means that demo is gonna be out of commission when they bring this Uber in. Oh man, but it's the heavy shooting the gun as hard as he can. That gun probably could have lasted a little bit longer for Shrangled, but maybe not a whole ton. Anyway, the gun is down, the heavy is down. Red is just a very discombobulated right now in terms of defense. Only three people alive, and they don't know there's a heavy medic right at their spawn, so anyone running in there is going to be promptly mowed down. Meanwhile, the cart is being pushed. Oh, Big Hick's getting the draft. And yes, there we go. Cart makes it to the second point. And a very good time. Ten minutes to push uh, the cart to two points. Entirely possible. And I'm uh, anticipating it will happen, but you never know. You never know. Especially with uploads. Especially with all payloads. Oh man, I always gonna send this heavy flying. And indeed, Unicorn, um... Fulfills his dream to fly after he dies. <laughs> well, I guess he will fly. Anyway, um, not a dream you want to fulfill, though. Another dream you want to want to fulfill is being headshot by Bone Star, but little girls are my friends. Takes it out. So we're seeing a lot of sniper duels. Of course, upward is. Uh, whoa, that was a nice jump there, Cad. Then <laughs> upwards it has uh, lots of long sight lines. As you can see, this is a very typical position for a sniper Bone Star to take, um, just to shut off this corner. Uh, it's actually called the corner, in uh, call-out terms, to shut up this corner so uh, people won't be peeking around. Oh, but Little Girls are My Friends takes down Pwn Star right there. So yeah, these snipers are having at it. Uh, little Girls are My Friends taking down Term right there too, trying to get on his cam because he knows what he is doing. He's actually getting the heals too from his medic, so... Um, oh, here comes the Dorati. Did he get anyone with that? Doesn't look like it, but uh, taking a lot of damage, so he is gonna fall back. Let's see what Gandhi Power is going on. Uh, Sentry Gun in the exact same place, almost. Um, uh, as Sink right there. Uh, the Heavy, you could see, tried to peek around and shoot it. Actually, if it was just a little bit further over, he would have been able to get it, but great positioning by Gandhi Power right there. Uber popped by blue and then Uber popped by red, but they're in completely different areas. Finally, red realizes that blue is popped. Um, they come back with uh, Pyro to air blast it away. They are slightly successful, but the center gun goes down anyway. Uh, Gandhi power goes down as well, so this is looking very good time for blue to push. We'll see if they can do it. Um, oh, best cannon, can he make it? No, he, um, Etni had 40 health left, now burning to death, but no survives it. Oh, but there is a spy right here. Um, I think uh, Blue really did not do as much as they could have with that push. Uh, Sentry Gun is now going up again. Okay, not well it was, but now it's not up. Uh, Term doing a good job spamming it down and stopping Gandhi Power from getting anything going. Meanwhile, though, somebody's got to be in the cart. Somebody has yet. Yeah, well, there's seven minutes left. I keep forgetting that. Um, after about, uh, maybe about maybe two or three minutes left, you want somebody on the cart continuously. But um, we have uh, seven minutes. It's okay. Oh man! Oh man! Etni lost his medic right there. Sarcasm going down to red. Red Star is the rest of his name. I knew it was Red something. Um, so a great medic pick right there. Sarcasm was really close to Uber, and they could have done a lot of damage with that, but now Ed Etni is uh, behind the lines with no medic and uh, no real plan right now. You can tell he's just doing damage wherever he can. Not exactly sure. I mean, um, he could drop down, but uh, he's going to run into a heavy 
spam right here, but oh, I love the sentry gun. Love the Wrangled mini. Does a lot of damage. Oh, and yeah, he is doing a great job just being a pest, harassing that engineer and heavy. NG does go down. Gandhi power is not going to have time to rebuild. Um, love love the use of the sentries right here from Sink. He knows what he's doing, and they're pushing very hard. Oh, goes down. Banana Nay gets some nice stickies on the point. Uh, sarcasm, however, has 100% Uber and has his heavy with them. They need to pop it before Sarcasm drops. Oh god, I'm scared. They do pop it. Now they gotta get somebody in the cart. It's Pyro. Pyro will be able to airbus everybody off. And Scout denied the jump. There we go. Muffin wins. Able to take it. Very nicely. They're calling GG. Is that GG as in good game? Are they all done? Uh, looks like they're switching. Yes, they're switching teams, so I'll be back after the switch. And we're back with Mission the begins in 60 seconds. messed up HUD. Uh, there we go. <laughs> with the second half. Remember, Midnight Muffin Stuffers is leading 1-0. So, Hale's own team squared. I forgot there's a squared sound right there. For a squared thing. Exponent, there we go. Um... So they have to win this in order to force it to a third round. Um, this is, you know, just a scrim, so it's all about learning. So hopefully they are learning and adapting to what the other team is bringing, because adapting, of course, is the most important thing in competitive... Ooh! Talk about adapting. Looks like... <laughs> I love it when the other classes try to help the NG build with their melee weapons. Looks like Gandhi Power is going for a different sentry position here. Was not satisfied uh, with the first one. I have tried this, and I've tried this in competitive, and it failed terribly. So I'm going to be really interested if Gandhi Power can get this going. He has decided no. Three, two, one. Gonna go back here, where he uh, was originally. So, alright. Okay. I understand that it failed for me. And if you know the best NG can do it, then... Uh, I just, just tried to do like a sarcastic hair flip right there. Showing my face at all. Anyway. Oh, I'm watching the sniper action right there. Oh, Coldstar gets the headshot on little girls, on our friends. Taking out that sniper is huge. That means his uh, team is now going to push in with this Uber, I would imagine. Yes, indeed, the Uber is popped, but out of self defense. Uh, it down right there, so not having heavy heavy in this push is going to be significant. Pushing on that heavy class in your push. Oh, 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 Paul was so caught out of position right there and goes down immediately. Red is really hurt right now. Oh, Sink is going to do something fabulous. I just know it. He's going to wrangle this and take down a level 3 stretchy gun by himself. He is. Oh, except the Sink gun already went down. Uh, rack of Lamb getting some nice shots on there. And you know what? We have not seen enough. A Rack of Lamb can. Rack of Lamb can. So let's get on his can. There we go. Rack of Lamb. I've never had it. I've never had it. Anyway, getting a nice kill right there on the wrap. Oh, he has spotted out the sentry gun. Needs to get it down before it gets him. That e health left. He does. And uh, he does get the sentry gun. It falls back for some nice, delicious heals. I imagine at least. Uh, he's spotted out the engineer. It wants Gandhi power and blows him up. So some nice work. What have we been missing? Because we haven't been following the rapid land cam. This is what we've been missing. But we have to follow the Uber cam as well. Where is that Uber? You ask. It is probably with the heavy medic that are going upstairs. We're probably going to drop out of the window, which is excellent strategy right now, though. Um, getting pressured by Rap, the red soldier. Um, trying to make him pop early, but he was not able to. They popped anyway, and uh, nothing really to take down except theirs. So just continuing with the uh, frags. Oh, in term, getting a nice. Uh, some nice stickies down there and getting the main and aim. Oh, Heavy was, uh, Etni was shooting so much he ran at ammo. In there, uh oh, but Face Palm is actually behind the lines right now. I don't think they know he's there, so we're gonna see what he can pull out. Um, go big or go home, right? He's got that DR going. Not the DR, he's got the. There we go, getting the stab on the scout. Um, stopping that push, and, but uh, maybe could have gone for a cut right there, but you know, now he is dead running, yeah. So, yeah. 
Uh, so, let's see. Bro and I will be able to do a whole lot more. Polly is working up that goober, but oh, he's gotta stop. He's getting a little too curious about what's going on. Um, definitely let the rest of your team do that. He needs to fall back. Okay, he is indeed doing that. We'll see what Raph, the other soldier, we definitely don't get enough soldiers action here on Kim's team. I apologize about that, but I just, you know, don't know. But meanwhile, Raph and Liam comes in from nowhere. Of course, he took that bumper back, has it. Um, getting a huge play, takes down Polly, getting that medic pick, and also the sniper right there. Um, huge. That was such a good camp there from Racco Pen. I'm glad we were able to get on his camp. Uh, just a great flanking opportunity. Now his team is going to be able to push in here and just camp. And the heavy is upstairs. How did he get there? Muffin Stuffers. Muffin Stuffers, yes. Muffin Stuffers just came out of nowhere with this offense, and uh, I love it. Some great flanking right there, and it's a shame he could only get time to in this cart because Muffin Stuffers are ready to cap this whole thing. Right now, how are the cars going so slow for them? So agonizing. So we'll see if a uh, red can put up any sort of defense for this, but oh, not looking good, especially when Pancake gets a stab on your demo right there. And old Polly again is caught out of position. Um, if Steven's right scattered right now, it's not, not looking very good. And oh no, Pancake is behind the blue lines again. He's going for the engineer. Oh, nope. He's just hanging out. Okay, we'll let him do his thing. But there is a little percent of up, so the Muffin Stuffers will have their work cut out for them and taking it down. However, they're 70% right now. Oh man, four down. Three three are up right now for uh, for Rad. Not gonna happen. Such a gun goes down. This is looking very, very uh, scary for Hale's own team squared. They may get those spawns, but they're going to have to run as fast as they possibly can, or jump by this soldier, Raph. Raph did a great job defending the fight, but he is falling down, will not be able to do anything else. And yes, there we go. So, Hayo pushes at the last, last few centimeters, and there we go, four minutes and 47 seconds. Excellent time. Red Star is asking, how do I forfeit? Mission begins in 60 seconds. <laughs> um, a good question. Because uh, 4 minutes and 47 seconds, probably one of the fastest times I've seen on Upward, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Anyway, we're looking for the sink camp, going, build it in my spot. We're gonna call it the kip spot. <laughs> or sink spot. Mmm. Thinking I can fight about who wants to take Mission credit over this spot. But, uh, you know, I'll give it to him. I have enough things. Anyway, Cadavan, the Cadvan, the scout, suiciding twice. I love it. Love it. Um, I such a good idea because the scout in uh, first. Ten seconds. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, sink. Oh man, wasted a few seconds right there. Um, but three, two, what was I going to say? One. There's somebody's a girl. Oh no, Term is a girl. No, I don't know. Oh darn. Apologize if I uh, misuse pronouns for anyone in this game, but definitely tell me if uh, there's a lady in your team. Blue popping that Uber and again right outside the gates. Not sure about this. They actually were able to wait a little bit longer than last time. Um, Hayo coming out now. Hayo, sorry, coming out and pushing that Uber back. Oh no, back on the cart. Gets a unicorn. That heavy is down. And uh, sarcasm is. Not sarcasm, it is Polly. Polly is looking pretty scared, knowing that there's a spy around him and he is dead bringing Sink again, wrangling that center gun, love it. Um, he's also very paranoid as well, so uh... Oh, and there he goes, finds out the scout, I mean spy. Spy going for some tricky stuff, not able to get the stab, to gets the sapper down, but a face palm gets away, but no, he's gunned down by Etni right there. And now Sink is going to have to try to survive the spam coming in from the soldier across the way. Probably is calling that out to his team. We like you guys. You guys. See the soldier spamming my sentry? You, you want to help with that? You want to help? But uh, right now doing a great job keeping that sentry up and taking down a unicorn right there who's just trying to peek around the corner. Taking them heavy with the rainbow sentry gun. Very difficult, but uh, awesome. Very well done. And now he's uh, trying to get the pyro. Will he be able to finish off fast cannon? And he does. So, really nice uh, engineering work from Sink. I think I already talked. Alright, I've talked enough about the engineer. Let's, 
Uh, watch this Uber coming in term. Getting the Uber takes down Unicorn. Oh, he really wants this medic. He's gotta get Polly. He does get Polly. Oh man, look at these pipes. Look at these pipes. Doing some excellent, excellent work. Um, pushing forward on defense. I mean, there's no further he can push forward. I'm sure. I'm sure Muffin Stuffers want to push forward even more right now because they are so aggressive. But did, can't push forward anymore into the spawn. So. Hale's own team is looking kind of frazzled right now. They gotta get something going. Well, two minutes and three seconds left. It's not gonna. It's not looking great for them, at least. So right now they just have uh, probably the sight of you know let's just cap the first point. Let's, let's just do that. And so working really hard to do that. Unfortunately, um, oh, Peggy going down. Actually, I thought he was gonna get a nice medic step right there. This actually would be a great time for them to push. Red has lost a lot of people right now. Um, including, no, Sink is still up, and that such a good is still going. I'm wondering about the sticky up here, was that to discourage jumping soldier? I really like that, that's really interesting. Um, here's a jumping soldier, Rack the Lamb getting base cannon down. Uh, as he gets uh, some nice action right there, sorry. Uh, Nene is not gonna make that, he's not gonna survive, unfortunately. I love it when you have a really good uh, strafer who can strafe their way to sink. It's like, how did you just defy physics and save yourself? It's very frustrating too if you're a pirate and like, yeah, I got this. And you do not. The unicorn right now is trying to get anybody with his minigun as only a minute and 30 left and not going to be able to and is spammed down. Actually, Advan is the final shot with the scatter guns on there. Blue's just throwing everybody anything what they have right now. Unfortunately, they run into an Uber. Polly goes down so they're not having that medic. Is gonna be huge. They're only gonna have about time for one more Uber, and that one more Uber is not gonna make it all the way to the end. So we're gonna probably call GG right now. Um, really good game, though. Uh, very exciting, despite the fact that uh, it was 2 0, but still well played by both teams. Both oh! Oh! I was doing my, my final spiel, and I, I'm forgetting there's still action going on, so let's just take a look at the action. Because still great plays happen when uh, the game is almost, when the game is pretty much over. Mm, but here we go, uh, Pancake getting in behind and just distracting the entire blue team, and that's so important for the scout to, the spy to do. And uh, just takes the attention away from the cart, and then his team is able to push up. And you see with the team, like, uh, the Muffin Stuffers, that they really like pushing up and holding that front defensive line as uh, far as possible. So. Great work right there. Guys can be team players. I know it sounds weird, but it does happen. Looks like we will be able to cap this point, but um, 10, ten seconds, seconds is physically impossible to roll a card that far. Even in TF2 land, where physics mostly doesn't apply. But GG nonetheless, uh, trying to get as much as they can out of this final Uber, but not able to do it. So there we go. Muffin Stuffers takes it. Midnight Muffin Stuffers, sorry about that. Takes it. And it is actually just after midnight as I'm testing this. I wish I had muffins. I do not, but that's okay. Anyway, congratulations on this scrim. Both teams hopefully uh, had fun scrimming and will have fun on their first match, which is Monday on UGC Monday at 9.30 Eastern Time. I'll have more about that in a vlog later or earlier, depending on when I post this. So um, stay tuned for that. Here are your final scores for the second half. Anyway, thank you so much to Ohio who sent this in. Um, some great plays on both sides. Love it. Hopefully they have a great season. Good luck both teams. Thanks for watching. Um, definitely subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Twitter and all that fun stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.